In the previous video, we talked about observation studies. The fundamental question actually is whether the treatment has an effect on the outcome. So any relation between the treatment and the outcome we call association. But if the treatment caused the outcome to occur, then the association is causal. So the first thing in this video, we will talk about association. We will give it a, another observational study and to explain the association. So let's go back to London in early 1850s. So in this picture, what did you see? Yeah, we call this picture actually it's court. It's court for king. Colorado. Yeah, so in early 1850 in London, of course, I've not been there, but sometimes we see in the movie, all we can see, you can imagine at that time, the cholera actually is a very feared disease. At that time, that's kind of pandemic. We don't know what happened. Uh, just like earlier in for the COVID star, right? This certainly we have a disease. Is deadly disease, then we don't know what's going on. So right in London, early 1850, a lot of people have been taken the life from the cholera. So a lot of study and the people try to figure out what's going on. So you can see at that time in London, it's kind of pretty dirty uh, from, the uh, from the picture you see from here. So people try to figure out what this kind of deadly disease happened. So one thing they blame a lot is miasma. So miasma in that dirty environment is the best smell given off by the West. So a lot of people actually believe that will be the main source for the disease happen. The believer including some important people. And of course, you can see the most important thing even the commissioner of the general board of health. They believe for that. They kind of believe because they had the bad smell all kind of a lot of place. So they kind of doesn't know well about this bad smell and the disease happened. So then they kind of feel is that the bad smell is the reason cause this, the deadly disease. So at that time actually in 8050, cholera, they don't have any good cure. So the suggested remedies have a lot of things. Yeah, maybe you can fetch clean air from the top of Eiffel Tower in Paris can be a cure. You fire the barrels of gunpowder will be work. Yeah, for here now, it sounds like very ridiculous. But the same thing even in COVID 2020. I'm not sure you guys remember. At that time, we are not very clear about this disease. We don't have the injection yet. Okay, so people talk about the inject of the disinfectant can maybe a remedy or the sunlight or you take six deep breaths, then cough while coughing mouth. So then you can drink water every 15 minutes, drink more water, tea, eating ice cream. Okay, but some people say maybe avoid ice cream also. It's a remedy as well. So that's why at that time we have an unknown disease, that especially that disease happened. We try to figure it out. Uh, even from back now, we see that's kind of ridiculous. But the most important thing to you try to find to, um, to find a solution for unknown disease is we just guessing. But even you just guess, that's I hope your the guess we can find is good observation. But the most important thing, like we say, observation is very key, important key for the science. So that's why here we'll give you the good example. At that time in 19, uh, 1850, the Dr. John Snow actually he got good observation about the cholera the disease happened okay so at that time actually he got the map 
here is the map for the Soho area in London. Okay, so he systematically to collect the data and they make the data visualize the data as well. So here actually is a map. So in this map, let's try to um, enlarge that for a little bit. So you can see more clear. Uh, so here is the map for Soho area. So he make each household the number of the deaths have a bar here okay so i think each one represent one death okay yeah so i put the map back i just want to show you actually more is the bar represent the deaths for the household but also he believes this kind of disease because they have the symptoms diarrhea and the vomit so he thinks maybe that's according to the food of the water they're drinking. So that's why in this map, he also showed the pump. Also, there's where people get the water. You can see we have one pump here. Then we have another pump on the Broad Street. And they have a couple more pump. Okay, so you can see from this pump, the area, they don't have any, disease, uh, any death here. And uh, this one, the same thing. So it looks like a lot of that is around the Broad Street. Okay. Uh, and also here we have another pump. Okay. So this another this pump actually is interesting. The south or the east, west, this area from the pump, they don't have any death. But maybe a couple blocks away, they have more deaths. Okay, so then actually we see more. So we kind of can say maybe the rose tree pump caused some disease. But then we also see here around the neighborhood they have a lot of deaths. But also only for this brewer, they don't have any death. Okay, so then they check actually this line brewer, they don't drink the water from the pump from the rose tree. Actually, they're using their own, they have their own water source. So then the other pump here, we see um, they don't have so many other deaths, right? But also from those uh, household. But those household, actually, they're using the Broad Street um, pump. That's why the John Snow research, uh, this one is very um, important and famous observational study. He have those kind of data he observed and put, put on the map and also visualize, help us to visualize the information because the household location with the pump location being marked here. Then quickly we can see this pump, around this pump, there's a lot of the deaths. So afterward, they try to get more information. So then once they shut, that's why at the end, they shut down on the pump in the Broad tree. And then here, this one actually is the uh, the current map. Uh, so then they do have a one pop actually named Jon Snow to, um, to, mem uh, to memorize the famous doctor to find the reason for the deathly disease. And also you can see the handle, actually is the pump are being stopped. Yeah. Before when they um, reach the water, they have the handle here. Okay, so that's why people at that time, they can get water. Also you can see they just remove the handle. So that's why this, uh, the pump being intimidating. So that's why they don't allow the water came from here. And you can see this is John, the pop named John Snow, and he has his picture here. So this example actually is a very good observational study example. But even uh, we find out on the water pump caused by the deadly disease, the death. But one thing is we still cannot really have the conclusion we only can see this one actually is association relationship. So we find the water pump 
cause some death from the um along the Broadway Street. The reason is, even we find the information, uh, we have those data we observed, but all the uh, the same thing. Let's talk about what is the individuals, what is the treatment, what is the outcome. The individuals here actually is the all household from the Soho area. The treatment, one thing we can say, yeah, the treatment they using the water pump from the Broad Street. Okay, so the outcome they got the cholera, the deadly disease. But the same thing, they just direct link to their death or not. It's not really sure. Because one thing is, not everyone dead. Okay. And also, but one thing we can know is, the watcher is maybe the resource to cause the deadly disease. When they talk about the miasma, the smell, uh, because all the smell, actually, they um, from no matter which area, they all have that bad smell. Okay, so then this one actually we only can say that miasma actually is not direct to the the deadly disease, the death. Um, but then the water pump caused more the death. But one thing, this one is the observational study, because we don't generate any new or new data. And when we say the water pump cause the disease, uh, we the same thing we can not only say the lead to, we can say the water may is a resource bring those disease. Because some people, uh, according to your immune system, we still can see they may or may not get this disease or death. Okay. So that's why we say this one actually is a good example of oppositional study. But one thing is we only can get is the association, uh, association relationship because this relation between the treatment and the outcome, we do have that relation. But the treatment really caused the outcome to occur. Then they are not really 100%. So that's the example for our association. The next one actually, the John Snow actually, they continue to do the more research. So this one we will see will this association will be the causal or not. And we see the next one. So the next one actually the causation we want to do is causation actually is the heart of the all the question we try to answer. So that's why we want to really see the water source were really caused by the death disease. So that's why John Snow, he has another research. He actually go back to the most important water supplier in London. So this one is the old region of the London. They have two water company, SMV and Lambeth. So they make this, the, the same thing, the visualization, we can see the green area is from SMV. So then the or, orange, Part is the land bath only, and also they have the bowls, and they're both covered. So from those data, actually, we want to um, break into two groups. So one group we call the treatment group. So the treatment group, of course, that means the group they got the treatment. Then we have the other group we call the control group. The control group do not receive the treatment. So these two group only difference is they have everything the same except the treatment. So the same thing from here, actually in this area, they, the only difference is the water resource where they came from. So all the people, their smell, yeah, you know, the environment, they are all very similar. So all the um, income or their living environment very similar. The only difference is their uh, water resource. So that's they we can break them into a treatment group and the control group. 